uh, in 2012, we added real dampers to your system. And now when I place taps in 2013, you're going to get the damper automatically adds itself to the tap, and you're also going to get a volume damper tag. All right, I've got this elevation tag also showing up for the taps, which I can turn off. But this is what you're going to get here. Now, the other thing is, if I don't know if you saw just a minute ago, when I added that tap, it knew it needed a damper, so it added additional material. So if I had a tap with no damper, it would just draw my tap, my basic six inches. If it is going to automatically put a damper in, it will automatically add an additional six inches to the tap. So now you don't have to go back, okay, like on the... Uh, our first go around with the dampers that we added them in 2012, um, you know, we had placed all the taps and stuff, and you had the dampers. You had to click on the tap and come up to your dampers and add the damper. Now you can, they'll automatically just add volume dampers to your taps. They still work the same way as far as the duct works. So if you want to add them to the duct or any other object, okay, you can come in and just say add damper, and it'll apply a damper to the duct as well. But they are automatic now on your taps. Again, this will come to you adding dampers automatically, adding extra material automatically, okay, which is adjusted in part manager in the manufacturing defaults in part manager, um, how much material you want it to add, and if you want the dampers enabled or not. 